Hey YouTube, this is um, Dr. Green Fun here. Um, just wanted to show something. This today's segment is about dual purpose hiking. What I mean by that is if you're carrying gear and it only serves one purpose, you might not want to carry it because if it fails, then you're just carrying dead weight. So here's what I'm talking about. Here's a hat. Just typical looking hat, but it has a solar panel on there. So it powers these lights in here. So dual purpose is it protects you from the sun and could serve as a emergency flashlight or whatever. So that's one way. Here I just got these. These are uh, trekking poles with built-in lights. And I, I saw these online and I said, all right, I'm totally getting these. It has like a little button thing right here. But it's on both of them. So you got that one. You got that one, so you got lots of light, dual purpose. If the lights die, you still have trekking poles. They still are serving a purpose. Same thing with this. If this gets wet and it gets shorted, it's still a hat nonetheless. With this one, it's kind of, it's borderline dual purpose because it looks like a flashlight, but it's also a headlamp. So. This is considered dual purpose because it can be a flashlight and a headlamp at the same time. Now this is just kind of what I mean by dual purpose. This is a water bottle holder that I'm planning on attaching to my pack or maybe uh, on my belt or something. But I mean even this, it not only holds water, but it holds stuff as well. Dual purpose. Always think of dual purpose. If it can serve more than one purpose, definitely worth investing in even with this this is a, a cord lock with a flashlight I'm always about light because batteries weigh a lot and if you don't have to carry batteries because you have multiple sources of light that's the best way to do it because batteries die and once they're dead then you gotta go into town and restock up on batteries and you know, with this one, it doesn't require batteries. This one, it doesn't require batteries. These require batteries. This requires batteries. And another thing is, is if it has more than one purpose, by all means, get it. Like, I don't really carry this very often, but it's a very lightweight thing. It's a, it's, it's a what they call a survival whistle. It's got a compass, thermometer and magnifying lens and it's a whistle so four different things and just a piece of plastic oh and it also has a I don't know how you do it it's got a light in here right there I don't remember how you turn it on but anyways that's another thing here so five things really this thing is so Another thing is whistles are good, you know, if you see a bear, but do you trust your life with blowing a whistle? I mean, it might save your life if you're stuck or you uh, need help, but is it going to, oh, there we go, you push on the compass to turn it on. That's cool. So I'm definitely going to take this. Um, but again, do you trust a whistle to carry with you as uh, your means of defense. So here is a gun. It's a Makarov. It's a Russian made handgun. Um, it's got a safety but this is extremely heavy for hiking or whatever and, in, and depending on where you state you might not be able to carry something like this. However, there are much lighter options. There's uh, what I had earlier, which is a Diamondback 380 that weighed 3 7.7 uh, 7 ounces. So, but it'll probably be about a pound with ammo with it, with rounds in it. However, if the bear charges, you're gonna you're pretty much dead. But if a well placed shot 
will bring down a bear or if anything it'll wound him and he might think twice about coming after you so with this it, it's got an 8 round capacity it's uh, it's a little bit bigger of a caliber it's a 9 by 18 it's definitely not a bear stopper but it's a little louder and it just feels really good in your hand and it has the better range I mean sometimes people will just fire into the air to scare a bear because a bear doesn't know what caliber it is neither does a person for that matter if you're somewhere and you know you're put in a situation where you have to defend yourself in your life um, are you gonna be carrying a whistle and blow in their ear that might work or are you gonna say hey I have a gun I know how to use it I mean it's all about gun safety as well I mean you don't want to just be drawing this out wherever this is meant to save your life in a life-threatening situation and if you're not in a life-threatening situation then you shouldn't even be exposing this or even showing people because it presents opportunities that you don't need to be put in so I just wanted to you know s touch base on dual purpose and just hiking stuff in general I have a bunch of more stuff coming to me I'm planning on doing a, a through hike not necessarily a through hike I'm doing half of the trail on the Appalachian Trail in early spring so I'm gathering up all the gear now and seeing what works what doesn't what's dual purpose what's not what can I leave behind just go through everything that I possibly can in order to get my load real light and to keep everything down and wait and just be able to comfortably enjoy it and also do a lot more miles than I usually do. So this is Dr. Green Fun. Feel free to comment and subscribe and uh, have a good day.